Hey, this is Jake. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Micro Swiss All Metal Hot End for 3D printers and its issues. More specifically, jamming caused by heat creep and prints warping from extreme temperatures. It's very common with the Swiss Hot End to have prints jam after a few layers of printing. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, other times it can take up to an hour. Mine always jammed about 20 minutes into the print. If it jams at the base of the nozzle, it's most likely occurring at the heat break between the heater block and the cooling block. If this is the case, your prints may experience warping and shrinking around the corners before it jams. This is due to too high a print temperatures. This can happen even if your print temperature is at the minimum for your material. This is printing PETG at 210 degrees Celsius. This PETG should be printed at 220 to 260 degrees. However, even at 210, the filament was getting too hot and warping around the corners. This is because the entire heater block is hot, not just the nozzle. The heat isn't properly dissipating, which is increases the temperature of the filament. Now I'll explain how to unjam your hot end in a moment, but first let's talk about the solution. The reason your filament is jamming in the micro Swiss hot end could be because the heat from the nozzle isn't dissipating properly. If the heat cannot dissipate through the cooling block, the heat will creep through the filament, causing it to melt in the cooling block and then solidifying. This is what causes the jams. Using thermal paste between the hot end and the heat break and between the heat break and the cooling block can allow your hot end to cool properly. You don't need to use much thermal paste, but it does need to get into cracks and make contact with all the pieces. Because the heat can now dissipate, this should eliminate the jams by causing a clean break in temperatures between the hot end and the cooling block. Thus the filament will remain solid right until it makes contact with the hot end nozzle. I did this and forgot to reassemble the hot end at 250 degrees Celsius. About an hour into the print I ran into issues and found that filament was oozing out of the cracks. Make sure you reassemble your hot end at at least the temperature you'll be printing at, because the metal will expand due to the hot temperatures causing filament to seep out. I have two printers and installed authentic Micro Swiss hot ends on both printers at the same time. I ran into the same issues with both printers and the solutions that worked for both printers. Here's a Micro Swiss on my Ender 3 and a Micro Swiss all metal hot end on my Creality Ender 5 Plus. If you're also someone who doesn't read instructions, please note that they come in pieces and can be installed backwards. Although it still works, you run the risk of melting wires and putting stress on parts that aren't designed for it. It's an easy fix if you make the same mistake. The nozzle and the heat brake are the same thread and diameter and can just be unscrewed and you can switch their places. This will rotate the heater block so that your heater element and the thermistor are on the right side. Something else to watch out for. The metal can expand and stay expanded. I don't know why, but my printer's micro Swiss hot end and someone else's expanded to the point that the filament couldn't pass through the cooling block. In this photo, I have a cheap filament that is actually 1.65 millimeters in diameter and it still wouldn't fit through the cooling block. This wasn't a factory defect. It worked for several prints and then expanded. However, a simple drill and bit fixed the problem. Also, something else to remember to check is the feeder gears. They can fill up with filament shavings or just wear down over time. It's usually not the issue, but it's easy to check and keep an eye on. Now, how to unjam your nozzle after it's jammed. Typically, yanking on the filament won't do the trick. It can really harm your printer as well. I set the hot end temperature to about 20 degrees Celsius above what I was previously printing at when it jammed. Then I removed the cooling fan that is directing air onto the cooling block. This will cause the heat to travel back up your cooling block. It won't dissipate without the fan, which will then cause the jammed filament to melt. And then you can pull the filament out of the printer without stressing the system. Once your hot end is at its increased temperature, it usually only takes 5 to 10 minutes for the jam to melt and then the filament can be pulled out safely. Once that's done, you can address your jamming issue. Just FYI, I was printing PETG and ABS when I had all these jamming issues. My printers were in an insulated enclosure and were printed at high temperatures. The ambient temperature was about 110 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. I added the thermal paste and everything was smooth sailing again until I switched to PLA filament. I decreased my print temperatures, but continued to print in the insulated enclosures. 
The printers would jam after about 15 minutes of printing, every single time. It took forever for me to realize the enclosures were reaching an ambient temperature of about 110 degrees Fahrenheit, which was enough for the PLA in the cooling block to soften and expand, even with the thermal paste and the fans running 100%. These caused the printers to jam yet again. Once I realized this, I opened the enclosure doors and the PLA prints didn't jam again. The ambient temperature in the enclosures decreased to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and this was enough for smooth prints. Thanks for watching. Please leave any questions or comments below, or feel free to contact me directly. Also, feel free to check out our store, philipsolar.com, for any of my products made from recycled PETG.